If you have been a JavaScript developer for a bit, I'm sure you came across Lodash at some point. Although it is very true that Lodash was a valuable tool in the past, when browser support for certain features was inconsistent, with the advent of ES6 and modern browsers with consistent standards, the need for Lodash has greatly diminished. Still, there were some things that were easier to do with Lodash, like deep cloning an object, for example. As of 2023, with code generating AI readily available, this is not the case anymore. Recently, because of security concerns, I've been working to reduce the number of third-party libraries I'm using on my projects. And even though Lodash is a pretty well-known and safe library, with a very small package size, if you tree shake it to get only the functions you need, I'd still prefer to not use a third-party lib. And that's when I noticed how easy it is to replace Lodash with the help of ChatGPT. I used to rely on Lodash for the peace of mind of knowing that it would work regardless of the user's browser, but ChatGPT can adapt the code it creates to run on whatever setting you'd ask it to. Also, in most cases, Lodash functions come with implementations for parameters that you might not be using, so you can even save a few bytes by using custom code. For example, on Lodash's deep clone function, there are so many checks and safeguards to make sure it works with some obscure data types that it bloats the code for 90% of the people who just need the basic functionality. Here's an example of recreating that function using ChatGPT. I'm starting by asking it to create a JavaScript function to deep clone an object. It creates it in a very simple way, but it doesn't work for all data types, including date objects, and ChatGPT even mentions that in its answer. Okay, but I need to clone the date objects as well, so I asked it to adapt the code to make sure the dates will also be cloned correctly, and that's what it does. I then asked it to transpile the code to ES5 so it would work on platforms that don't support ES6+. Most probably you're using Babel or some other tool that automatically does that, but you get the point. Of course, that's a bit more work than just importing Lodash and using it right away, but in my opinion, it is surely worth it. In about two minutes, we got code that works the same, but waits one fifth of the Lodash module that does the same thing. Besides the fact that now we're not installing a third party library, so we're avoiding all the possible downsides that would come with that. I'm working on a video about the benefits of using custom code instead of third party libs, so stay tuned for that one. As always, thanks for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing if you'd like to support this channel. And if you can think of another known library that doesn't make sense to use anymore because of AI, leave a comment. See you next time. Bye.